if you play Japanese style mahjong, also known as reach, and you have a set at home, get it out and try random pulls. This is a great way to learn all the yaku and also quicken your decision making. If you're just learning how to play Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. All my tiles are out. I've mixed them up and I have a Hanchen indicator. We'll swap between east and south. And then we'll roll the dice just to randomize where we're seated to keep the variables fresh. And we'll do six random pulls in 15 minutes. I think that's a good way to train yourself to make quick decisions with planning your hand. So let's roll the dice. I rolled a seven. Seven is west. So west seat, east round, first random pull. Dora is one crack. Woo, look at that. We have a pone of north. We're in seat south, so let's try to use that. We do have a couple of dragons here and a fair number of bams. I think we should try for Hanitsu, half flesh, leverage that pawn of north. We do have all the eights. Let's hold those eights. Maybe we could play triple pawn with eights. I'd start by discarding these. If you would do something different, write random pull one and what you would do differently here. I think primarily I would shoot for half flush, hold the eights for a potential triple pone. That would be a long shot though, I think. I think um, Hanitsu would probably be easier to attain. Let's go on to the next one. South round. Let's say we're in seat four because I rolled an eight. North is multiples of four. Let's say Dora is seven bam. So we have two honor. Oh, there's a dragon. And we have lots of terminals. Look at that. Eight tiles towards 13. Oh, look at this. Nine tiles towards 13 orphans. I would try it. I would try it. Definitely. If that's cringeworthy for you, write it in the comment section. I think I would hold the cracks. If I drew in cracks, I might go ahead and forget about the 13 orphans, but if I drew into 13 orphans, I'd play it. Get rid of these first. If you would do something different, let me know. I wonder, we could potentially throw those and play terminals in all. Let's just see. There's a one, two, three, potential chi, eight, nine. Well, that could be a pair too. And then we could have cheese here for Chanta, terminals in all. So we would be three away from working that. That would need some work for sure, but so would 13 orphans. So three away from Chanta or four away from 13 orphans. How many Han is Chanta? We could use honors with Chanta. That's called an outside hand also. Terminals in all is only two Han. I would try for 13 orphans. That's a Yakuman. 
it doesn't come around very often and that is a pretty nice setup there I think I would try it would you try for terminals in all or Chanta let me know write random pull two and what you would do let's go on to random pull three and say we are in seat seven which is West. Okay, one crack is Dora. We have a pair here and a pair here, and then pretty dragons. We have Akadora. Let's see about chi potential. Here's a pair. Isolated, isolated, potential chi. There's a chi. Here's a potential chi. I think that probably I would sacrifice these dragons and play Pinfu. If that's what you would do, write it in the comment section for random pull three or write what you would do differently if that is not what you would do. We'll go to random pull four and playing south round. Let's say we are in seat seven, which is west. So three dot is Dora. Oh my, oh my. Look at these winds. Oh, not a pair in there. Wow. That's a lot of winds there. Ooh, look at all these dots. I would try for half flush. We would have to pair those up though. I think what I would probably do is hold the one, maybe try for all honors. I wonder if all honors includes terminals. Let me peek. No, let's see, honors. All terminals and honors, honor row two. That's a two Han Yaku. You can use terminals and honors. I think I would hold this for a little while just to see. But I would throw these away first. If you would do something different, write random pull four and what you would do. I just don't think I'd want to throw all those honors away. It seems like such a waste. If we're in seat three, that's west, and it's south round, we have both of those. I would be tempted to keep them and go for a half flesh. Okay, back to East Round, random pull five. Let's say we are in seat seven, which is West. Nine dot is Dora. One lonely honor. Oh no, there's an East. Okay, east. So we have a mixture here. I think I would probably play Pinfu here again and get rid of these honors right there. We have Chi potential here, Chi potential here, here. There's a Chi right there. So I think I would definitely try for Pinfu for this random pull. If you would do something different, write random pull five and what you would do. We would leverage here this Akadora tile. That would be nice. Okay, one more. Back to south round. Let's say we are in seat six, which is south. Seat six is south. 
Last one. Okay, let's pull Dora. Eight Bam is Dora. Here we go. Eight Bam is Dora. We have three honors right there. We do have five cracks. Here's a pair of nine BAMs. I'm wondering, I think what I would do here is probably try for all pwn or hold these for maybe all pwn and play half flush, get rid of these three try for half flush and if we pair it up then leverage these and play all pwn if we drew in cracks and honors sacrifice the bams get rid of that off suit and go for uh honey sue half flush throw those away if you would do something different for this last random pull right random pull six and what you would do differently I'm still learning. So this is really great practice, I think. And if you're still learning, download this PDF on my website so that you can study the Yaku, do random pulls, and figure out which Yaku you would go for. And try to do it in 15 minutes, six and 15 minutes. See how you do. Come back and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you might learn new strategies or pick up an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese style mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.